Hello everyone, this is Evie the Sponge Reviewer here, and welcome to my review on the fourth episode of Camp Coral Spongebob Under Years, uh, In Search of Camp Nudist and Kitchen Sponge. So I just got done watching these two episodes, and I'm going to give you guys my opinions on them. So um, in, in Search of Camp Nudist, uh, Narlene, uh, one of the, the new characters of Camp Coral introduced in Sugar Squeeze, um, informs uh, Spongebob, Sandy, and Patrick of a camp full of nudists, which are naked people, of course. So because they hear about this, uh, Spongebob, Patrick, and Sandy go on an adventure to find Camp Nudist. So um, if I want to be totally honest, just like with the Jellyfish Kid, honestly, this was a pretty weak episode, in my opinion, is because that there really weren't that much interesting things going on in the episode when I watched it. Um, it wasn't as it isn't as funny as uh tag your it which is still obviously my favorite episode of camp coral i'm sorry that episode was just too funny in my opinion um so it turns out to be that um they were misunderstood by the word nudist instead um narlene and nobby showed them this camp that they created called new dust camp which was a camp made out of dust so and then um they they basically tell them about that and and then after after they 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 told them about that they, they they told them that they were joking about it and there actually is a nudist camp and so that's when they discovered it for the first time um i won't go any to any other details with the episode is because that i don't want to spoil the ending but um i mean i kind of did spoil the part where she where she said the new dust camp but there's something else in the episode that i that i will not spoil if you haven't seen the episodes yet so yeah, um, in search of Camp Nudist, this was this was a pretty okay episode. It isn't the greatest, but it was okay for what it was. All right, so next is a kitchen sponge, and this is an episode where SpongeBob is offered a job to help Plankton cook food for Camp Coral. So there's a lot of um, things going on in this episode that I really enjoyed. And, um, but yeah, it was a, it was actually somewhat interesting, but, um, again, I wouldn't say is it's, it's funny as the other episodes that I've seen of Camp Coral. Um, one of the cool aspects of this episode is, um, the 2D animation segments where this episode, um, had the, tr had the traditional 2D animation from the original SpongeBob series that is still currently, um, airing on Nickelodeon. Um, I found those segments to be really, really interesting. Um, this is actually an episode that kind of um, explained about Sandy's and SpongeBob's backstory of how they met, which I will not go into details because that somebody already showed the clip on Twitter. I've seen the clip, but I, I didn't physically click on the tweet to see the clip fully because I didn't want to get spoiled by it. But I did see the tweet about how Sandy got to Camp Coral um, on Twitter, but I never physically clicked on the tweet just to watch it because I wanted to find out for myself. And it was interesting, I guess. But I will say one thing that I, that I will that I will spoil, and it's Sandy's name in the future, and it was Big Cheeks. So many in, innuendos and, 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 and adult jokes can be made out of that name alone, just to let you guys know on that. But yeah, um, Kitchen Sponge, it was... It was decent, I guess. It was pretty interesting, but again, it's still not my favorite episode of Camp Coral. I I'm still putting Tagger it as my favorite episode of Camp Coral as of right now. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed my review on In Search of Camp Nudist and, K and Kitchen Sponge. Um, there's only two more episodes I have let I have yet to review of Camp Coral, so please be on the lookout on that whenever I make a announcement about it. But as of right now, these two episodes, they were pretty decent. I wouldn't say they were bad, but they were just decent in my opinion. Not the greatest, but just okay. All right, so thank you guys for watching my review on uh, In Search of Camp Nudist and, and Kitchen Sponge. And I'll see you guys next time with another review of Camp Coral.